guys, what's going on? Scoo here from Convergence. Today, I'll be doing another war recap video. Uh, it'll be our war against Hot Bees Warriors, I believe they're called. Uh, as you can see, we won by uh, we won by six stars. It was 58 to 52, and total destruction was 95 percent to 87 percent. Uh, we did have one Town Hall 11 advantage over them. But uh, Town Hall 10s were pretty even throughout. Uh, they had a couple more. Um, they had a couple more 9.5 zones. 9.5 damage, I believe. And one more damage. But throughout, it was, the breakdown was pretty even. Uh, we had 18 3 stars compared to 14. 2 2 stars compared to 4. 0 2, 1 star compared to 2. So in this recap, I'll be doing some Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 attacks. So let's we'll start off with a uh, Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11 2 star. So first attack will be by uh, X Freight Train. Uh, he's coming in with a Queen Walk Gobo Valk attack. Starts off with, with two baby drags to funnel the Queen inward. Queen's gonna start up at nine, and she's gonna walk her way in. Uh, yeah, she's gonna continue walking up till three. Then she's gonna double back and take out the E artillery, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this base was pretty strange for you guys. You can see like none of the walls here are connected. There's like nooks and crannies. So it makes it a little hard for troop funneling. But x ray does a nice job with this queen walk. Brought five healers just in case uh, one triggered a Sigear mount, which did, so he still have four healers on him. Queen's gonna take out the Wiz Tower, and right when she does, she's gonna switch back, take out the Alexa Storage, and then the Expo and the E Artillery. Once that goes down, he's going to drop his uh, Gobo at the Archer Tower right here. Uh, at the cannon actually, with, with some bowlers and CC and his cane as well. So E Artillery goes down. Drops his Golem way up north. So Queen's ability, she's gonna take out the king, but she's gonna get toasted by the infernos. So bullers go down, put down a couple of wizards to a funnel. Rages them up. Healers travels over and starts healing up the bowlers. King's gonna come in and take out the queen. Triggers a CC, a bunch of baby drags come out. Puts down poison for them. And then sends in his Valks. They do a little split as something goes down the sideline. They only four of them mix into the core. It's gonna raise them up again in the core. They're gonna tear through that town hall pretty easily. But then he has a bunch of them working around the sides. But the baby dragons haven't gone down, so they're gonna do quite a damn quite a lot of damage to the Valks. Even so he does a really nice job, gets a nice 58%, a nice job by x -Freight. Next up will be Thunderpants, with another Town Hall 10 vs Town Hall 11 action. He's coming in with the 4 Golems and Mass Boulder attack. Starts off with Baby Drag at that Dark and Elixir Drill up at 6. Baby Drag to do a little work. Help funneling down from 6 to, I'll say, 4 ish, 5 ish. Drops off a goal up at 10. Puts out some bowlers behind it. Puts out another baby drag to help funnel. Sets out a wall breaker. Second goal comes out. It's quite loud. Good amount of work. Third and fourth column both go down the mortars. 
from 69 sends in the remainder of his wall breakers uh, he's gonna pop the king's belly take out the queen wall breaker doesn't quite break through but he has plenty of bowlers and golems down south at six he'll break through places a jump and a heal then puts in the remainder of his bowlers on the side with hope to take it out of Inferno, doesn't quite take it out. Pops a Queen's ability, and then it's just storming to set the core of the base and take it out of the Town Hall, and I think he's going to take out the U Artillery. Yep, he does. Um, CC's going to come out, but he doesn't have a poison for it as the CC was in there and he was going to trigger it, and he just literally wipe out this half of the base, the southwest side of the base, and he doesn't need to worry about the clan castles coming out. So nice shot by Thunderpants, getting 59%, almost 60%. Alright, uh, let's look at a couple dips. First dip will be by Shotar. He's coming in with a uh, Golali, just one Golem, and a couple bowlers. Sends in his golem at that order, but the bowler's gonna take it out. Has a wizard and a couple bowlers and a baby drag that funnel. Sends in his wall breakers. King and queen could both go down along with his warning, then the rest of his bowlers. They get sidetracked it a little bit, um, taking out that elixir drill. They don't really go into core. They're just walking around the sidelines. Queen doubles back out as well. Pops a warrior's ability to push him through the clan castle. Very unfortunate that the bowlers and the queen walk out. If they had stayed inside, on course, they would have been able to take out that inferno tower right there. But it's going to start it off as how and a little lower so the runes can travel and take out that first inferno. Brought CC Hound. Both hounds pop almost right away by triggering like several uh, sinking air mines along the way. Places a heal for his runes. At this point, he doesn't have spells left, he just has plenty of loons just wrecking the entire base. That inferno is set to single so you didn't need to bring a freeze for it. And just that wood tower left once that goes down it's just clean up from there. Yep, it's just clean up. Nice job by Showtime getting that 10 uh, town hall 11 versus town hall 10 tip. Our next attack will be by Chris. He's coming in with a similar attack, only with one more golem. Yeah, extra golem. He said one golem, he's doing a shatter gobo. So it starts off his gobo at, down at six. Let's say a couple of wizards behind him to a funnel. Just brought three wizards, but they do plenty of work. Sends out test wall breakers, triggers some um, little bombs. King Queen warning goes down. And so will bowlers. King gets sidetracked a little bit, goes doubles back to take out the um, building hunt. But doubles back again to go into the base. CC comes out. The poison down, but yep, he poisons them. He just uses a warning's ability. There's a huge dead zone around the inferno, so it makes it a little harder for the king to reach over the wall and shoot it. So it pops a queen's ability, she takes a jump, takes out the inferno, and takes out that um, expo as well. So it starts off the lava and at that 9 o'clock air defense. Then he brought third hound in his uh, clan castle. 
so. Yep. Third half goes down. Um, got 12 o'clock air defense. You see that all three of them, they're still up. Furnace would go down. Places a heel over his loose near Winder near that Tesla farm. Sends in his remaining hogs, I mean not hogs, his loons, when they're around that um, 3 o'clock air defense. Gets taken out and it's just clean up from there. Another shot by Chris, getting that triple. Our next attack will be uh, by Ant coming in with a bitch attack. Starts off at 3 and 12 o'clock. After the final set, drops his uh, plant castle golem and then the remainder of his witches and boulders and his heroes and warden. They're gonna take the jump. Going to the base, he's gonna raise him up. Second jump goes down. He's gonna use the warden's, uh, warden's ability. Put a heel behind them. And then his third jump goes down. And he just goes straight through the base, trashing it. So I plenty, so a couple of witches and boulders working around the sides. So you have to use a queen's ability. It's gonna pop it here, take out that archer tyrant that was tower. And it's just clean up from there. Nice job, bye. And as you can see, the bitch attack is a really fast attack. Uh, up next, we have two Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 triples. First Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 triple will be by Danny, coming in at number 8. He's coming in with a uh, Gobo Lalu. Starts off with two baby drags, you funnel. Drops a golem off at three, I would say. No, not three. Uh, one or two ish. Drops his heroes, a dumb bullwitch behind them. Baby, dude, uh, baby drag gave some work. Help taking out the enemy king. And then queen as well. CC is going to come out. He's going to rage up his kill squad. Pop the king's ability. Take out that first and uh, second air defense. Baby drags him go down. Then he starts to slide in. Goes for that um, six o'clock air defense. You can see that it starts off the sound, and moves are just traveling behind him. First half's gonna pop. Queen's gonna take out that second inferno. Hound's gonna pop again, but they're only down to one air defense now. <clears throat> and Hound is still pretty much at full health. He's gonna freeze that section, swagging his freeze, and it's just clean up from there. Nice job by Danny getting that triple. And he says a haste to take the swag. They swag in the middle. Alright, let's move on our to our next 10v10 triple. Uh, this one will be by me. I'm coming in with a go bitch attack. Start off with a couple witches and bowlers up at 9. Then a couple more down at the army camp at 6. So you can see that it, like the base is really long formatted, I guess. So it makes it easy for a bitch attack, you can just drop a jump, like uh, where I'm gonna drop it around 7-ish, right there, and you can see it goes directly into that front of, uh, comp. 
going to take it and drop the remainder of my boulders into it. But put down poison for my CC. Um, put down heal since it triggered uh, triggered some bombs. The boulders took a little damage. You see some boulders here, which is working the size. But this base makes it really nice as you can just play jump into court and the boulders will do work and take out the buildings inside. Team can push through and you, you see I still have plenty of boulders up and they're gonna help take out the enemy king and queen. So I've yet to use my queen's ability as well. Golem, one golem is still up and tanking at full health. <clears throat> then I just have the witches working around the sides and taking out some trash buildings. I'll speed it up a little bit, this, this takes a little while. <coughs> Queen and Bolt are gonna find breakthrough and Queen's gonna go and take out that Wiz Tower, the Builder Hut, and she's gonna double back out to take out the Archer Tower. And it's game over. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned some new attacks from it. And if you did like it, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll be back with another video shortly for the same war against uh, for Taohon Dying attacks. And as always, thanks for watching. Get off my lawn!